Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cody Rhodes Series 140 figure. i um, been looking for this figure, well, somewhat. I've had a big thing over the last uh, year for suited figures. So if I see a wrestler, you know, in a suited, a suited figure, I am um, going to pick it up. And most of them are actually all of them for the well, for the most part, with the exception of Andre the Giant, I guess that would be an exception. But most of them are basic figures, so of course they're naturally going to be cheaper than Elite. So within the last year, I collected the um, Baron Corbin MVP. The, the, of course, another Cody figure, which you're going to see in a little bit. Um, who else? Um, Joaquin, um, jo Joaquin Wild and the other member of, um, my goodness, the former stable. They're in the LWO now. I cannot remember their names, but both of those guys and The Miz. So I just, um, I just like the feel, you know, just like it's just a cool, just a cool, just cool visual just to have the figures with the suit and tie and stuff like that. So you don't see it every day. So I love and they've been releasing a lot more lately. And actually, there's some Seth Rollins basics um, in that the same vein that I want to pick up at some point. So, again, um, I was actually at Walmart before the day before thanksgiving and i was in the toy section just looking it really wasn't nothing that caught my eye and then i was about to leave and i thought i saw the cody figure and then i looked and saw it, it was there it was actually on the um it wasn't on the peg um and it was the only one there so i was like definitely let me pick this up so we're going to get into it and the basics of course on the back we see um other figures in the series, Randy Orton, the returning Randy Orton, Tommaso Ciampa, Ronda Rousey, who has had a very interesting um, wrestling life over the last few weeks, appearing in Ring of Honor and on some indie shows, and possibly AEW bound, and of course, the legendary Rey Mysterio, I definitely gotta get that Mysterio figure, I need to find that quickly, because you know how much I love my Rey figures, so we're just gonna get into it. American Nightmare Cody Rose. He will be, I believe, leading the um, his team in the war games against the Judgment Day at Survivor Series tomorrow night. So that should be quite a match. And Cody has just had a tremendous year all around. So I'm definitely a Cody fan. So okay. So here we go. I like the blue and gold. Uh, more like a royal blue has the gold tie i don't like the um the head scan you know it looks very just dull which most of the cody wb figures i've seen have had that same expression so they need to definitely change that but um I, you know you got the brown you know casual shoes and just a really smooth figure and i like the triple the uh the triple you know what do you call it? the triple suit you know he has a blazer the three-piece suit i guess he had three-piece suit because he had the blazer the vest you know and the shirt and tie so just a really cool visual really good and um you see the beginning of his neck tattoo and um if it had a more you know expressive you know head scan i think this would it would bring this to maybe a i would say a possibly 9.5 out of 10 10 out of 10 figure before a basic figure it is great and i love just the kind of the extra flap room that you get with the jacket it's really cool i really just enjoy that so, um, very solid figure, and we're going to compare it to the AEW. Um, only actually, the only other, the only other AEW Cody figure that I have, and you know, I got some little lint on it or something. So, we're going to compare it to this one, and I think we're going to see a big, somewhat noticeable um, upgrade in quality. So, first off, the head scan for this AEW figure is incredibly much better very expressive and even the additional head they have with it is much more um as well excuse me for the sound the garbage truck is coming right now so um hopefully they're passing soon and um and like i said i just overall like this one because you have the overcoat uh, which again opens up you know you can't i think you can take it off of this one wow i have never huh I've never done this since I've had this figure. I've never have attempted it, but you can actually take off the overcoat and then just have, you know, the three piece, the, you know, the vest and tie. Interesting. Uh, you know, it looks like there's more detail given into the shoes 
and overall this is just a much more dapper figure even though you know the back of the jacket but again this is a solid figure as well and again like you said cody rose is probably the most I would say a wrestler, probably I guess along with Miz, he's the most, there's not one WWE wrestler that wears suits so much. So, I mean, the suit style is just really, I love Cody's suits. When he comes on TV, does a promo coming out, he just looks so dapper and looks like what I consider a real main eventer should look like. He stands out from the pack. He dresses and carries himself with poise. And I do believe he's going to be the one to unseat ratings at WrestleMania next year for that belt. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so those are my review, my review in comparison. Again, I would probably go with, they have to go with the AW figure just because it is the better figure overall. And then you can take off the jacket. But again, this is not a bad choice either. So, um, so yeah, so again, hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you have had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday with your friends and family and just enjoying, you know, I'm enjoying this time away from work. So, and, um, just trying to relax, get things done around the house. And again, as I uh, say, just, you know, uh, be safe, keep yourself well. And I will, and also, uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at JD Collectible. And I will talk to you again after a while.